Okay, we're looking at figure 5.2 on page 89 of your textbook. This figure tries, gives two marginal damage functions. Um, let's assume it's for the same pollutant, but for some reason the damage function in let's say two areas or for two groups of people or in two different times differ. So it's the same pollutant, but in D1 over here is much lower than MD2 over here. So even though it's the same pollutant, because damages depend on the people, this pollutant in two scenarios has one a low damage function, marginal damage function, function and another scenario a higher marginal damage function. So if we first look at MD1, we say for example, if we are at E1 at the moment, then it would be $12 of marginal dam damages if this pollutant increases with, let's say, one ton, right, with one unit. If it increases with the one unit, my damages increases with $12. Um, that's the marginal damage. The total damage, again, is the area under the line. So this area called B is, is my damages, um, my total damages of an increase of, let's say, one unit, uh, one ton. And in, in another scenario for MD2, for example, if we have the same amount of emissions, e, E1, um, and we increase it with one ton, we can expect a cost of $28. So can you see, even though this is the same pollutant, in different scenarios, it would have a much la larger marginal damage for increasing by one unit from the same place. It's just because the marginal damage curve is a lot higher. And we can also see the total damage will also be more because the area under this marginal da damage curve um, is much larger than under the lower marginal damage curve. So it just tries to show you um, the difference between two m marginal damage curves and the total damage uh, due to a change in emissions.